one of the most exciting things about a sport like downhill skiing and uh, an athlete like Kelly is the fact that it really embodies what it means to have an inclusive society and really finding a way for individuals, whatever their sensory capabilities might be, to collaborate together for some end goal. And in the case of skiing, where they're relying on using these Bluetooth headsets to communicate with one another, um, obviously there's a high degree of trust that's necessary and a real sort of true teamwork in terms of the fact that both of them are reliant on each other in many ways. And so they obviously need a lot of practice. They need a lot of time to get close together in order to respond very quickly. I mean, if you watch these videos, um, of Kelly, you know, in these runs where she wins all these you know, world championship medals, they're going fast. You know, there's, there's nothing slow about it. It's, it's not like they're conversing about which way to go next or anything. It's immediate. If a person loses one sense, such as losing vision, their other senses don't just sort of get superpowers and they're able to sort of overly compensate for not having vision. However, by having that practice and being dependent on, on the other senses, a visually impaired person tends to develop them to a much higher level than we do. One real interesting thing is there was a case um, of this American man, uh, Mike May, who regained vision um, later in life. So he lost vision uh, when he was very young, but through surgery he was able to get vision again. And he was an accomplished downhill skier as well. And once he all of a sudden had vision to a very high degree, um, he absolutely hated it. It just took away the experience of skiing for him, the parts he enjoyed, focusing on the wind on his face, the, the sound of the slopes and the person in front of him talking. And so now, even though he could use vision for skiing, he prefers to close his eyes and recapture that same sense of adventure he used to have. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think one of the most inspiring things about the Paralympics is that it shows people that even if someone has a sensory impairment, they can still be a world-class athlete. That they can still do these incredible feats of mental and physical skill. And so when we have someone like Kelly who's able to compete at such a high level, it really just shows how amazing the human mind is and how if someone has a will, they can find a way to do it.